Hi, I'm Tomer Itan from Dell Technologies. In this demonstration video, I'll be showing the Dell Virtual Storage Integrator 10 for VMware vSphere client features for PowerStore and how it can help VMware and storage administrators manage their PowerStore clusters. Dell VSI is a plugin that extends the VMware vSphere client, allowing users of the vSphere client to perform Dell storage management tasks within the same tool they use to manage their VMware virtualized environments. VSI enables administrators to view, manage, and optimize the storage directly from the vSphere client. A volume group is a logical container for a group of volumes, which provides a single point of management for multiple storage resources that work together as a unit for consistency and easier management. As you can see, I registered my ESXi hosts with my PowerStore cluster using the VSI plugin and created two VMFS data stores. By navigating to PowerStore Manager, we can see the four ESXi hosts registered and mapped to the data stores. We can also see the two VMFS volumes under the Volumes tab. At this stage, there are no volume groups configured in the system. We navigate back to the vSphere client and click on the VSI icon. Then we select the PowerStore cluster and click on the Volume Group icon. Here, we click on the plus button. Now, we provide a name and assign a protection policy. To ensure consistency protection across all the members of the volume group, we select the Apply Right Order Consistency to all volumes in this volume group. Next, we select the data stores we want to add to the group. We can filter them by the cluster for simplicity. Now, we click Create to complete the task. By navigating to PowerStore Manager, we can see that a new volume group has been created successfully. If we click on it and go to the Members view, we can see the two VMFS data stores that I selected. Metro Volume is a high availability and data mobility feature for PowerStore Storage and VMware vSphere. It provides active-active data access to Metro Volumes for proactive use cases between PowerStore clusters. The new VSI plugin allows us to configure and manage it directly from the vSphere client. As you can see, my ESXi hosts are configured as Metro nodes and mapped to both PowerStore replicated clusters. We can modify the host connectivity directly from here. We can set it back to local or change the remote cluster. Now, let's create a new VMFS data stores using the VSI plugin. I'm right-clicking on my cluster and selecting the Create Data Store option from the Dell VSI drop-down menu. Here, I'm providing it with a name and creating a single VMFS 6 data store and mapping it to my cluster. By navigating to PowerStore Manager, we can confirm that a new volume has been created and mapped to all the ESX hosts in that cluster. Now, Let's apply the Metro configuration on the data store from the VSI plugin. We click on a data store and navigate to configure and select the VSI plugin page. Under the protection section, we click on configure Metro. We select the remote system and make sure the data store will be mapped to all the ESX hosts in the cluster. And then we click configure. In PowerStore Manager, we can see that the volume is now Metro protected and the volume is running as active-active in both clusters. If we switch to the remote cluster, we can see that the Metro volume has been created, synchronized and mapped to the same E6i hosts. Apart from the SRM support for PowerStore, we've also added our unique point-in-time integration with the VMware VSI plugin. This feature allows us to specify a specific point in time to test or failover to when using SRM. Let's say you have a logical data corruption or a malware infection. It's not enough to run a failover to the DR site. You want to actually failover to a specific point in time before the data corruption. In the vSphere client, we select the PowerStore cluster in the VSI plugin view 
and click on the SRM recovery points under the protection tab. By default, SRM uses the most recent replicated snapshot for test or failover. This unique integration allows us to select a previous point in time for each SRM protection group and also to select different snapshots for each protection group. If needed, we can always clear the selection or choose different ones based on our expiration policy rules. Another cool feature we've added in this release is Power Store Replication Rules Management using the VSI plugin. We select our Power Store cluster in the VSI plugin view in the vSphere client and click on the Replication Rules tab under the Protection tab. Here, we can see a list of all the existing replication rules, including their attributes such as RPO, Alert Threshold, Destination Array, and attached policies. To create a new rule, we click on the plus icon. Here, we provide it with a name and select an existing destination array or set up a new one if needed. To add a new remote system, we click on the Setup New button and provide the array ID, select the network latency from the drop down menu, provide the username and the password, and then click Add. We can continue with the replication rules creation for the new destination that we've just added. In this release, we've added more appliance and node performance monitoring views directly from the vSphere client. First, we navigate to the Parstore cluster in the VSI plugin view and click on the Performance tab. By selecting the appliance, we can filter the view by a specific node or the whole appliance. This provides us with a detailed performance information for each and every node in the system. The new views provide us both live and historical metrics for bandwidth, IOPS, latency, memory and CPU utilization for apps on appliance, and the IO size used by our applications, and also the queue depth. We can change the time range and zoom in and out to get all the required information we need about our power store clusters and their workloads directly from the vSphere client. I really hope you find this demo useful and thank you very much for watching.